It's a tradition at Richmond to have a graduating senior selected through a campus-wide competition deliver a speech at commencement. I'm honored to introduce this year's student speaker, Peterson Haas. Peterson is a Richmond scholar from Brazil, graduating today with honors. He earned a Bachelor of Science in both mathematical economics and biochemistry and molecular biology, a rare and powerful combination that reflects intellectual curiosity and interdisciplinary thinking. Over the past four years, Peterson has conducted research at UCLA, the University of Chicago, the Brookings Institution, and most recently, the Federal Reserve, but I'm sorry, in Chicago. <laughs> where, his work will, where, where his work with the macroeconomics team inspired his honors thesis under the supervision of Dr. Dean Crowshore. A committed leader, Peterson co-founded the Brazilian Institute of Young Scientists to expand access to research opportunities for students across Brazil and served as an active member of the Brazilian Student Association raising funds at conferences to support scholarships for study in the US. Peterson's passion for learning and driving meaningful change has taken him from classrooms to innovation labs. He explored entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial ecosystems in Denmark and Sweden through the Incumbents Program, joined the European Innovation Academy in Portugal through CIE Summer Incubator, and deepened his commitment to impact driven ventures through the Clinton Global Initiative, supported by the Clinton Foundation. On campus, he served as a quantitative tutor and technology consultant and as co president of the International Club. Peterson, congratulations on your many accomplishments. I'm delighted you'll share your remarks with us today. Please welcome me in welcoming Peterson Haas. Thank you, President Hallock, and greetings families, faculty, staff, guests, and with great excitement, greetings to the class of 2025. We did it. Today, we celebrate not just our achievements, but the people who have stood beside us every step of this journey. And on this special occasion, happy Mother's Day to all the moms and to all the supporters and loved ones who have carried us to this moment. Whether here, at home, or in our hearts, your love and guidance have shaped us into who we are today. These days, it feels like we only truly exist in the big moments. It's as if life only begins just after the finish line. And for me, it was no different. Since I was 10, my dream was to be exactly here, earning my college degree in the US. But now, as I stand here, I realize that the big moments aren't what truly define us. College wasn't just about the degree or the milestones. It was about the lessons we learned in between, those quiet moments of growth, and the nights spent questioning if you were enough. It was about stepping into the unknown while embracing the relationships that taught us more than any textbook could. And sometimes, the deepest lessons catch us off guard. A year ago, finals week wasn't about exams and deadlines for me. It was about watching my hometown drawn in what the New York Times called the worst flood in recent history in Brazil. As floodwaters rose, swallowing streets and memories, I sat thousands of miles away holding on to the hope that my family was safe. But what stayed with me wasn't the destruction itself. It was the small yet powerful acts of compassion. Neighbors carried each other through waste deep water, and strangers opened their doors to those who lost everything. That week, I learned, I learned that resilience is not about never falling. It's about who we become in the face of it. It's knowing that no matter how strong the current, we rise by holding on to each other. The biggest lesson I've learned in these four years is that there's no such thing as too late in life. At UR, I discovered that growth is not a chapter you graduate from. It's something you return to over and over again. 
in this community, I met people who showed me that there's not a single path to a meaningful life. And no telling for becoming who you are meant to be. We all continue to grow and change until we say goodbye. We don't need to follow the classic order of getting married, buying a house, and having kids by 30. The world has changed so much. And let's be real, in this economy, we can't even afford it. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing wrong with taking time for yourself. Because how can you offer your best self if you don't know who you are? It's easy to feel like you're running out of time, like we need to hit every milestone on schedule. When we were young, we couldn't wait to grow up. But now, as we get older, we should could turn back time and hold on just a little longer. We chase, we strive, and we convince ourselves that just a little more will finally make us whole. The real truth is, no one has it all. But everyone has enough already. Life is not a race, and you're not falling behind. When the road ahead feels impossibly long, look back at how far you've come. Meaning is not found in achievements. It's found by devoting yourself to love, the kind you pour into the people, the community you build, the passion that sets your soul on fire. Devote yourself to something bigger than you, something that gives you purpose, that makes you feel at home. And maybe, just maybe, you realize that home is not always a place. And for me, this is what success truly means. Success is not about collecting accomplishments like trophies. It's about living a life that feels full, even when you're missing pieces. It's about embracing where you are and appreciating the simplest moments. It's when someone remembers the smallest details about you, when you smile in the middle of a kiss, or when your little brother draws a picture of you and then you say, oh, look, it's a spider. In the end, it's all those little moments that mean the most. It's the way you let the ordinary become extraordinary, simply because you chose to see it that way. And with that in mind, as my parents stepped into the unknown, becoming the first in their families to leave the countryside for the city, at this moment today, I take my own step, becoming the first in my family to earn a college degree. Their courage paved the way for my dreams, and this moment is as much theirs as it is mine. So mom and dad, who don't speak much English, obrigado por viverem meus sonhos comigo e por inspirarem a lutar sempre por eles. And to all the other parents and loved ones, we thank you so much for believing in us, pushing us forward, and celebrating this moment and every other along the way with us. This day belongs to you too. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peterson. Congratulations.